And I think it's good for us to get clear on these different meanings of evolution. I've had a few side conversations at the conference with folks just to say, okay, what uh, evolution can mean different things. Which me meaning of evolution is, for example, the theory of intelligent design challenging? Which meanings are consistent with it? And I think this is important just to get clear on, on, on Darwin's ideas too. Darwin accepted change over time, but lots of people accept change over time who are not Darwinists. Okay, that wasn't what was unique about his theory. And because change over time can simply be the observation that um, life is different now than it was a long time ago as recorded by the fossil record. You know, we, we do not have dinosaurs roaming around uh, the streets of Philadelphia. As much as I wanted that to be true when I was four years old, it's just, it's not happening. We don't have trilobites anymore. So something has changed, that kind of, and, and the Cambrian explosion was not, inconsistent with that meaning of evolution. In fact, the, the evidence of the Cambrian explosion was documenting that life was different then than it is now, so that kind of evolution um, was, is not what's challenged by this. Instead, the Cambrian explosion challenged the two main propositions of Darwinian evolution, the two main distinctive ideas that Darwin was putting forward. And this is, and I, I label them evolution number two and evolution number three because they're both called evolution, but these are different meanings than just change over time. The, the, the first of those meanings was Darwin's idea of universal common ancestry or universal common descent. And that's the idea that all of the living forms that exist today are related by common ancestry. They have descended gradually from simpler pre-existing forms of life so that, such that the history of life forms a great branching tree. And that was his, his, his theory of the history of life was, was, was depicted with this tree-like diagram. So the idea is that all organisms come from a single common ancestor way, way back, probably a simple one-celled organism of some kind, and that the, way, the best picture of the history of life is this tree, such that all of the forms of life that exist today, the giraffes and the kangaroos and the tropical fish and the tur turtles and anything you would like to name, the insects in your backyard, are all related to each other by a pattern of descent, that they, they share common ancestry if you go far enough back, okay? Now, inherent in this picture is the idea of gradual and continuous change. Evolution in its simplest meaning just means change over time. But Darwin was stipulating that the change that had taken place from those earlier strata where we could see that life was different was continuous, that everything was in some way connected, and that that change had taken place gradually. So the Cambrian explosion is right out of the blocks, a challenge to that part of Darwinian theory, that meaning of evolution, because it seems to be documenting not, not gradual, continuous change, but rather sudden, discontinuous change, okay? And Darwin was troubled by this, and understandably so. Now the second meaning, or the, th rather, sorry, third meaning of evolution, second distinctive proposition of Darwin's theory, is his idea about the mode of change, about what we call in biology the mechanism. And the mechanism that he proposed was the mechanism of natural selection acting on random variations. He didn't know about mutations yet. Modern neo-Darwinists would, would emphasize the importance of mutations as a particular kind of variation. But we've, we've talked about natural selection quite a bit at the conference, but this was his idea about how things had changed over time. This was how the change occurred. And it, the natural selection mechanism, because the variations, he thought, had to be small, lest they have deleterious consequences, the, mecha the mechanism must, in Darwin's view, work very slowly and gradually. So the mechanism of natural selection acting on small incremental variations, changes in the next generation, time after time, uh, it implied that the history of life should show this gradual continuous pattern, the branching tree. The mechanism, the process and the pattern are related in Darwinian theory. Because the mechanism must work slowly and incrementally and gradually, the pattern of change in the history of life should be continuous and gradual as well. Okay? And so, when confronted with the evidence of the Cambrian explosion, there was a second reason to question his theory. Because it challenged the mechanism that he envisioned as being responsible for the origin of form in the history of life. So the Cambrian explosion, in brief, challenged both his ideas about the historical picture of life, 
this gradual unfolding and also his ideas about the mechanism by which that unfolding took place.